Janelle's using her Instapot again. She's cooking some of her, uh, what is that, spaghetti squash? Or... I'm going to do something I've never done before. What's that? I don't know if you can cook spaghetti squash in here, but I figure I'm going to try. And we're just experimenting on a little one. If it doesn't work well, well, exactly. then we won't do it. If it does work well, then we'll do more. Exactly. And Mary is helping. So we're going to get pressure. Oh. He's picking seeds. Well, we have another little girl who wants to help. Oh, here you go, guys. You can help. Peter is sorting out the seeds because we're going to fry the seeds and eat those too. Those are really good for you. Very good in calcium. Magnesium. Magnesium. This I put on for three minutes. We'll see if that's enough time. I don't know. I'm kind of using my sniffer to try it out and we'll see if it works. It may or may not work and it may be a pile of mush. I mean, I obviously would still eat it if it was a pile of mush. How do they turn out? I think they're done. Well, I'm going to check right now. Actually, I need a spoon. A fork would be better, but look at that. It's okay. done. Okay, it works. Perfect. And then Janelle made some cheese sauce for it too. Yep, I did. So it's gonna be my. This is gonna be my lunch. Lunch o gusto. It takes care of, and these actually have held up all the way from our garden last fall. An excellent item to grow in the garden because it'll last and store a long, long, long time. It's been what nine months, Art? A year. It's been, uh, something like that. Almost and they're also called delicata. No. I know they're not. Delicata is um, orange flesh, okay. and spaghetti squash um, is, is like these strands. It's supposed to be like spaghetti. Now I didn't shred this very well, so if you're really good with your shredding, you can make it look just like um, spaghetti noodles. I just spoon it out. So it's all going in the same place. My belly. I just made a basic cheese sauce to go on top of this. I'm not sure if I'm going to eat both, both halves of the squash or not, so I'll save a little bit of this. But, yep, this is my low-carb, very high-fat lunch. And I've got egg for it, too. And then the skin, you can feed that to the chickens. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, and right now I am making pancakes in rhubarb sauce to go on top of those pancakes, and I'll show you what that looks like. There's the pancakes. I have quite a few more in the oven right now and then there's the rhubarb sauce i gotta just finish it up now there's daddy and the kids helping one of our na our neighbor get a free trailer across the street There they go. And of course, Peter can't help but refuse kicking a dandelion. I got a little bit of a late start this morning because I feel like I'm making excuses, but here's the truth. So I've told you guys before in our videos that the hardest room to stay clean is probably my bedroom, and that is because Lillian's in there taking her naps. And the time for me to work is usually when she's sleeping, except I can't sleep, work in my room when she's sleeping in my room. So inevitably my room, the big kids take stuff that's in other parts of the house. They don't know what to do with it. It gets inevitably dumped in my room. In fact, I've got to get them switched over to either A, put it away, B, ask me where it goes, or C, put it in the office. Don't put it in my bedroom. And so for the last two mornings, I have been working first thing in the morning trying to pick up while she is awake. And that's exactly what I did today. It's almost completely done. Hello. Hello. And anyways, I got a late start. So it is almost 11 o'clock. We're heading out to the garden. What's up? I'm going to the hardware store with some girls. Oh, you want the camera? Sure. All right. I made a list for today and there's my list. And right now we're going to go to the hardware store. That is really, oops, that is really neat. Did you help him get in? Yes. Yeah. Tell us. Mommy. Grace. Grace, what did we? Tractor. Tractor. We're headed to the hardware store with four kiddos and also I'm gonna drop a clarinet off at my shop on the way there. The clarinet has been deposited. We're back on the road. What is that? That's a spider that didn't make it. Got squished. We got our deck wash. Now we need our steaks. There we go. Steaks. What are yep. the steaks for? Here to hold up the cucumbers. How many? 
Okay, those are pretty expensive. I think we might find something else. Oh, yeah, it is that. I like it. Yeah. I think we already have a couple like that. Yeah. We're headed home with our stuff and we just got the deck washed this time because the steaks are pretty expensive. I don't know if those steaks would have even held up $25 worth of cucumbers or not. So we'll just, uh, we'll do something else. And John is working on his second garden pot right here. He did his first one maybe a week or so ago with Peter. Since it's a sunny day today, we're going to be working in the garden all day. Janelle is thinning out her lettuce. There's a lot of lettuce. Yes. And it'll grow a lot better about four inches apart than it will uh, a half an inch apart. The thing is, I've never taken the time to actually do this. And so I'm actually really excited about how this is going to turn out. Are you, Art? Yes, I love lettuce. I, I love homegrown gonna, lettuce. I'm afraid we're going to have a lot, <laughs> a lot of lettuce by doing this. But that's okay. That's you can give it away to friends. They're always happy to get it. There's our lettuce, and it grew rather abundantly. And look at this kale. What's that, Mary? That's kale. I love going out to the garden and getting fresh lettuce and then eating it. It's really good. And it looks like the cherries are doing well. And also the peaches. Another thing I love doing is taking the kids' jungle gym and setting it next to the peach tree and just climbing up and eating peaches straight off the tree. Are you going to help, Grace? Peter? Yes? Love. Lots of love. This isn't something we hurry up and do. There you go, mister. And you want to leave them in the trough, in the center of the trough. Okay. There's one. There you go. Why don't we call you Frank? Oh, you probably don't want to name them, otherwise you'll be upset when we have to eat Frank. <laughs> it's okay. Let's forget the names. Just a little secret. Uh, sometimes it might be cute to watch the kids help mommy, but it, really quickly it gets a little bit frustrating because they can get into things. So right now we gave them a little plot where they could dig in and have fun with for a little while. We don't have any plants in this section here, so we said, kiddos, go ahead and dig this up all you want for a few more minutes. So there they go. Or at least, uh, or at least Grace. The other kids were here a little while ago. I was just digging up all the weeds. Right Lydia is helping plant the lettuces now. She wants to show you her pink shovel. Oh, I want to see the pink shovel. And there's Grace's pink shovel. Well, we're working hard outside. Charity's working hard inside, cutting onions, and she's getting tears in her eyes. And we have to make some sausage and peppers and onions. She's putting them in the crock pot and we're going to cook it up and eat it tomorrow. I went to the hardware store to buy some steaks and then look at that, I found four of them in my garden. I didn't realize they were there, so it's a good thing I didn't buy new ones. I'm going to put the steaks in the garden, put the bed rails up, and then we'll be ready for cucumbers. We use old crib bed rails for trellises. There are a whole lot of people trying to get rid of their cribs right now because um, they don't allow those, um, uh, the ones where you put up and down the sides anymore. So there are a lot of those available. You grab those and then they make great trellises and they're free. The girls are swimming, their clothes are laying around, but it at least they have swimsuits on. Oh no, the, the towel doesn't go in the water, Grace. Uh -oh. No, they, no. Okay, that's better. And the boys are working on uh, extending the other garden plot a little bit. And John's going to get another shovel. And he's going to put some peat moss in his garden. While I've been working out in the garden, Charity said, can I help by doing your Sunday dinner? I said, sure. He said, I'm doing sausage, peppers, and onions in the crock pot. And since we're serving this at church tomorrow, let's cut it. First I thought has, and then Charity said, you want to cut them smaller? I said, sure, do quarters. I figured sausage, there's only way, one way to cut sausage, and that's in rounds. And <laughs> Charity comes out and says, did you mean rounds? 
because I cut them lengthwise. So now we have a, uh, <laughs> a pot full of sausage worms. <laughs> and unless you think I'm being judgmental or cruel to Charity, Charity's laughing right along with me because it's kind of one of those, oops. oops. <laughs> Totally and cut them in and the see, I just was under the assumption that you knew, but I didn't realize you did it. <laughs> so it's kind you of it's, it's funny. We're just gonna be serving sausage worms tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe I should put that on the tag. <laughs> sausage worms, you know. I wonder if you can eat. We'd be sure to take it all home and eat it ourselves. You know, they make dirt and worms. You know what dirt and worms? Yes. Are? So it's I mean, cake. it's chocolate cake with gummy worms and. All that. Sausage so, worms. what's the difference between sausage worms? I mean, it'll still taste sausage good. It's just or onions, peppers, and worms. Mm. There you <laughs> go. Extra protein. <laughs> well, Janelle, let's get back out and work. Oh. <laughs> Lots of work to do. I know I'm too. Janelle got her pole beans and cucumbers. We're gonna go plant those. That's heavy. Yes, it is. You want to help? Do you need help? Really you, do, you don't want to hit. You don't want to be defeated by it. I think you can do it. Okay. Oh. 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 This is Dang. How heavy is it? Fifty, or maybe even heavier. No, that's not that heavy. Good job. Okay, just out of curiosity, leave it there. Peter, can you get the peat moss? Oh, uh, it's pretty heavy. Yes, it is. 16 pounds. What's that 85 thing? I don't know. 85 compressed. Looks like there's an 85 pounds. Okay. You think Peter can do it? Yep. Peter's always good at it. Oh, the wagon's right there, Peter. The wagon's right there. Okay. What is it anyway? Gotta figure out a way to get into the wagon. Can you get that? No, John. I can get it in. Yeah. We're doing a little experiment. Uh, One, two, ah. Uh. Wait. Get onto my toes. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, don't don't hold on the wire, Peter. <laughs> How do they make moss so heavy? They compress it. Can you do it, Peter? Or do you want Daddy to help? It's peat moss. It comes from peat bogs. It's, it's really good fertilizer. I know smarter something else. You got Elmo. Yep. Hey, good job, Peter. Let's see Daddy do it. Let Daddy do it. Daddy did it. Let's there. clap for Daddy. 